body. Are we all so excited to be here today? Because I am. <laughs> I asked you because I've been talking about it. If you guys wanted to see like my everyday quarantine makeup look. And basically what that means is the makeup look that you do right before you're gonna binge watch uh, La Casa de las Flores for five straight hours on your couch eating berries and sometimes hot Cheetos, which she shouldn't be eating. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Let's go ahead and hydrate. Um, I'm gonna use my Clinique Moisture Surge just because this is one I use all the time at home. I actually really like this stuff. I have, well, I'm not flicking you off. I mean, I am, but I'm not. This is the stuff that I use at home because I have a whole bunch of it at home. And honestly, I do like it because I have oily skin and it's a very moisturizing, moisturizer and because it's water-based and I have oily skin it just works really well on my skin and this is what I use to really prep my skin with I just love the way it feels my skin can be such a thirsty little perra but after this she chills I'm gonna go ahead and start priming for primers I use two that I mix all the time if you guys watch my is this a no makeup makeup not really because you're definitely like you're definitely wearing makeup but the thing is with this makeup look you don't really look i mean it's a very natural everyday makeup look and it's very easy to achieve very easy to accomplish this might be a 15 minute video this might be a 10 minute video i don't know post production gloria i don't know what she does for sure. she eats a lot of hot cheetos though, that's for sure i promise you guys my everyday makeup routine so that's what we're doing this is what i do not every single day though i want to make this very clear i do not wear makeup every single day my makeup free days are actually the days I look forward to the most. I love the days where it's just me and my skincare, chilling, best days ever. But I do love wearing makeup and I do love playing with, and this is what I do like when I'm getting ready, like for date night, where all we do is watch Shark Tank on the couch and sometimes I go on a walk. Yeah, this quarantine needs to end. Once it's safe, obviously. It's just a video you guys really requested and it's an easy makeup look that anybody can achieve. This doesn't require a lot of skill and it's gonna look like it's a lot of steps and it's gonna look like it's gonna take a long time was what I was trying to get at. But it doesn't. This takes me literally 10 to 15 minutes, no time, and it, it's no thought to me. It's just a very easy makeup look. Disclaimer though, this is not full coverage. This is not super duper glam. So if you guys are looking for that type of makeup look, the other primers I'm going to go in with are my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is my protecting primer. I really like this one because it has the sunscreen I need in it, but not the silicone I do not want in it. And then I use my Becca Backlit Priming Filter because I like my skin to look very glowy and healthy. And yes, this product looks old. That's because it is. I will say not paying attention to the expired labels on my makeup has been the money saving hack of this season. So as you see, I literally just mix both of them. And sometimes I use different primers, but my Becca one for some reason always stays the same and stays with me. I don't know what it is about it, guys. I just, I love it. And then I go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Makeup Setting Spray. You guys know me, I love using setting sprays to prime with, and Urban Decay makes the best. Because if you guys didn't know they're by Scandinavia, and Scandinavia, wow. Scandinavia makes some the best setting sprays on the planet. Uh, but I do like to use this stuff to prime, again, because I have oily skin. It just gives me another safety barrier. Now that our skin is nice and tacky, like anything from the blouse barn, we're gonna go ahead with our fundacion. But we're not gonna be using a foundation because honestly we don't need to. I do use foundation sometimes for everyday makeup. My Believe one is one that I really believe in. But the Glossier one has been the one that has stayed like nice and true. Also the collab one. But like I was saying guys, when I do choose to wear makeup, Ease is like my middle name. I really love the Glossier, what is this called? Perfecting Skin Tint. It's like their foundation, but it's not really foundation. It basically just evens out your skin tone and it gives you a nice little tint. As I said, we're not going for coverage. We're really just going to even out our skin tone and give our skin just a nice even appearance. This is where I would go in now with my brow pencil. I really like to let my primers, my foundation, everything really sit and melt together. And while I do that, I do my brows. It doesn't really matter what pencil, guys. I go with different pencils every single day. It just depends what I have brought home or what I have at home. What I've been loving is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. That's what I'm gonna be using today. So yeah, go ahead and listen to your wrap ballots and do your 
your brows. Now, at this point, uh, I cleaned up my brows with the concealer. Now I am really gonna go in with the concealer. So I have to mix two concealers because while I love my Believe Beauty concealer, and I have so many, Believe Beauty even sent me like my shade, but they've sent me my summer shade, and right now I'm still kind of pale. So I have to mix it with my Naked um, Correcting Concealer. This is my Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 20NN because it's light enough. So I just mix the two. I really love, and you guys know, I love my Believe Beauty Concealer formula. I just love how it blends out and how it wears. But the color, as you can see, it's just not light enough for me. I really like my concealer to be very, very, very brightening. And I'm running out. What am I gonna do when I actually run out of this concealer? What if we're still in quarantine? Oh my gosh. Shut up, don't even say that. I literally put a couple of dots of it right here because this stuff is so concentrated. And then I just blend it out. Okay, so as you can see, I had to move through that very, very fast. That's because once I blend out my concealer, I don't like a lot of creasing. So I go in with a powder really quick. The first part I go in with is a matte translucent powder. The one that I have been using is this one from Doll Face Beauty. This is just so that my other powder, my La Mercier powder, doesn't stick to my foundation or my concealer and really like lift it and make it look patchy. It's just a little trick that I do. But here's the other thing, guys. I do not let the powders sit long on my face. I actually go in almost immediately after I bake and I start removing it and with whatever's excess is on the brush I just move it around and kind of mattify my whole face Dope. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to bronze. I always use this bronzer at home guys I know it's a shimmery bronzer and you probably shouldn't just use this but again, this is my everyday makeup look I'm not really going anywhere and I'd like to add some luminosity back to the skin So I just use my Milani Dolce baked bronzer and again, I pack this stuff on because we do lose some luminosity once we set all the powder down, which by the way, does come back through. Once everything kind of melts on your skin and I would say you have your makeup on for about 30 minutes, the luminosity from the BB water, the concealer, all that kind of comes through. Even the primer, it's just a matter of letting your skin really take everything in and then everything kind of melting together with your natural oils. See, it just returns so much color back into your skin. And because it's a baked product, again, it's just gonna add very natural. I don't want you guys to be scared of this. It's not gonna make you look dewy or anything, but it's gonna add a natural glow to this skin that, that's gonna make your skin look a lot more natural like you're not wearing any makeup on, which is the illusion that we wanna give. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set all these powders down. I just use the same exact Urban Decay spray. This one, while it's mattifying, it doesn't look crazy mattifying. I think it controls the oils, but it doesn't make you look like a desert. Now for blush, I told you guys I've really been getting into cream blush. I'm gonna go in with my Believe cream blush in the shade tropical sunset i know this looks like just dumb orange but it's actually like a really pretty kind of like corally color and i really like it on the skin and again because even though this isn't a no makeup makeup look you guys my everyday makeup is more so a no makeup makeup look just because those are my favorites it's like soft glam really natural makeup looks those are like my ish so that's typically what i go for and a cream blush versus a powder blush just gives you again a lot more lifelike natural skin instead of a powdery blush I'm what I like to do is I just really like to warm up the product with my fingers, make it a little bit more emollient. And since we set all the powders with that setting spray, right now our skin is a little bit more, I don't think the word is tacky, but you know how like you shouldn't do cream on top of powder? Well, we set down that powder. So this is just, again, a little hack that I've used. And I like to rub it on the back of my hand first, really warm up the product. And then with an angle brush, I just kind of stipple it on. And when I tell you this is the prettiest, blush if i could bathe in this 
I would. Honestly, this blush makes me want to throw it in a circle. It's that good. And then I'm going to go in with my Believe Beauty All Over Body Glow. This is an all over like skin illuminator. It is a cream product, but again, cream products just look so much better on the skin. I just rub it on the back of my hand. Really warm up the product. I don't really know if that helps. In my mind, I think it helps, but I don't know, guys. I'm not a chemist, um, but I just grab a highlighting brush and I just kind of like paint it on my skin. Or you can do it with your finger. Again, I'm not flicking you guys off. The thing is with your finger, it can get a little messy really quick, especially me. Like I don't got delicate little phalanges, yo. I got these big ass man hands. I just have to be really careful. But your finger really is your best tool with cream products, guys, because again, it warms up the product and it just makes it so much easier to use than a brush. And that is my highlighting journey. I hope you enjoy it. My lips, my lips, you guys, it's always a KKW lipstick because I have so many of them at home because I have so many of them. And it literally is just whatever I can grab that's not like super dark or like super pink or really red. I always grab a nude and I enjoy all of her nude lipsticks. Today I grabbed this one. This one is in shade 90s glam. And sometimes I line my lips, guys, but sometimes, <sighs> like 90% of the times, I don't. I just go in with this. I just go in with the lipstick and I just try to be very like, careful about it sometimes i do line them but very rarely because i just kind of try to cancel out my lip color and i always put a gloss on any lip gloss i have so many today i'm using one from ColourPop, but you guys i have kkw lip glosses jeffree star lip glosses elf lip glosses any lip gloss i have at home i just use and i just pay attention to the detail that i didn't line my lips so i try to kind of line them with the gloss which you shouldn't do guys i don't recommend it but you guys know what i mean like i try to give myself shape with the gloss if that makes any sense. And that is my lip color for the day. This really matches my blush. You guys, my eyes are so simple and so boring. I never do anything exciting with my eyes. I think it's because I'm just so focused on skin and I love like skin makeup. I go in with, I'll show you. So I always, always, without fail, grab a brown and I always grab a warm brown. I'm just gonna use this one, which I think is Florence. And I'm using my KKW Classic eyeshadow palette. I love her eyeshadows. And you guys are gonna be like, wow, that's so easy. And maybe you guys are gonna like it. And a lot of you guys are gonna be like, bitch, show us something else. And I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm, no. Because I really don't do anything else when I'm at home. And you guys wanted this every day makeup look. I just grab that brown shade and I blend it. And I mean, I blend it to filth. And then, for some reason or another, again, don't ask me why, I go in with the bronzer that I used all over my face and I blend this into my crease as well. And then this is always the eyeshadow I drag on my lower lash line. And then I grab any gold bronzy eyeshadow. We're just gonna use Saint or Chicago, I don't know, this one. And this is our all over lid shade. And then another step that I like to do, but again, I rush through this step, guys. It's never perfect. I grab any brown eyeliner, any, sometimes black. The one I'm gonna be using today is from KKW. And I just like to go in between my lashes and lightly line my eyes. You guys see the difference, like barely anything. And when I do this at home, it takes me maybe a minute to do both eyes. Like I don't do anything crazy. And then we pop on our mascara and it's always the KKW. I think I have two tubes of this at home and then like three tubes here. I have so many tubes of this. I just, I need it in my life literally everywhere I go. And then I pop on brow gel. At home, I always use the one from Glossier. Sometimes I use the Believe Beauty one, but it's mostly this one. Bonus, you guys get my natural hair too. There you guys have it. This is my everyday quarantine makeup look. I don't even know why I did this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I hope post-production Gloria really like made it concise for you guys. Cause over here, Gloria, she got up, she grabbed a snack, she watched a video. She was definitely a little track queen for a second. She was like slanging dope in her head, just thugging along.